I cannot believe that I'm showing myself looking like this. This right here is bravery, okay? Courage. What's up, y'all? It's another Monday, which means that it's time for another Monday with Marie. So I know that it's a lot going on on my head right now, but there is a really good reason for that. So I just took my braids down and my hair is a product bogged down mess. Like, it looks ridiculous, it feels disgusting, and ugh, I'm just so ready to wash it. But I'm before you today looking like a troll doll because I'm gonna do my first, I guess, beauty tutorial. I'm gonna do my um, sleeked up bun. I like to call it my ling bun. So this is gonna be a ling bun hair tutorial. Um, basically, I guess I just wanna give people hope who feels like, oh my gosh, like my hair looks a mess. I don't know what to do. Cause I used to feel like, my hair was just like unmanageable. Like I genuinely felt that way. You can ask my parents. Like I just was like, mom, my hair isn't curly. It had no texture to it. Like it was just not cute to me. But my mom always told me like, Micah, you just have to find the right products to deal with your hair. And like she was right. Cause now I found the right gels, the right, you know, I don't know. I found a balance of things to like make my hair manageable. So I'm just going to do a quick little tutorial. And when I say simple, I don't even use anything but water and gel and sometimes this little conditioner stuff. But today I'm not even going to use conditioner. This is going to be a tutorial with just water and gel and a scrunchie on how I get this to turn into this. natural sisters if you are out there feeling hopeless this is a video for you so if you're interested in seeing how I get my ling bun just keep on watching like I said my hair has a lot of product in it before she braided my hair she lathered my hair in something I'm not sure what it was I guess I should have asked but I wasn't even paying any attention but now that I took it out I like feel all the grease on my fingers just oh so I really need to go ahead and wash it so I can get this off of my face because I don't want to get any bumps so I'm about to go wash my hair and I'll be back before y'all with a washed lion's mane okay y'all I'm back with washed hair so it's already more manageable um, I don't know if you could tell, I can like literally run my fingers through it. Um, yeah, could not do that at first. So washing it does all the difference. Um, oh, well, honestly, y'all, I'm so happy. Do y'all hear that thunder? Oh, I'm going to have to sleep with my ocean sounds loud tonight love a fresh shower because like I always put on my little scents or whatever so I got a new scent yesterday that I'm really excited about and it's called daydream by Bath and Body Works this is what it looks like and I like the packaging too it looks like a sunset or something and I actually got the candle too in the same scent so the whole room smells like daydream in the body mist and in the candle and it smells amazing so I'm ready to get my hair in this bun so I can go to sleep because I'm tired. The only things that I use to complete my daily lean bun is a brush, eco style gel. I always use different kinds of eco style gel. Sometimes I get the one that's a green container, but shout out to my big sister for letting me use her eco style gel because I plan to go get some today, but it's Sunday and the hair store closes on Sunday. So anyway, this is the kind I'll be using today. And for scrunchies, I like to use these thick scrunchies. Okay, come on now. Ugh. Well, I don't know if you could tell, but these are thicker, oh, there we go, there we go. These are the thicker scrunchies because, you know, all of this and I know I've popped plenty of scrunchies in my lifetime so I decided to just start preparing for the thick craziness of hair and just getting thicker scrunchies so with all of that being said let's get started I move y'all over a little bit so I can see myself in my full body mirror so that's the mirror I'm gonna do my hair in but when I say y'all that this tutorial is like probably gonna be like two oh I hate when it storms. That's when it's so scary to be alone. Okay, y'all, just ignore the thunder and the rain that's pitter-pattering very loudly in the background. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but, like, for me, 
the rain and thunder right now is like so loud so just ignore that throughout the video like i was saying this um tutorial is going to be so short because all i do to do my ling bun is flip my head over so I'll get all of my hair onto the top of my head like that is the number one goal So after I get all of my hair like towards the top of my head, I like my ling buns to be very high. So I get all of my hair like concentrated on top of my head. And then I just kind of put the scrunchie there just to hold the hair, not to finalize the look or anything, just to get it up there. That's when I go in with my Eco Style Gel and I just take it and rub it all around my hair, like, and I honestly, like, lather it on. Like, I'm a little excessive with the amount of gel I get, but I think, well, I know that's the reason that I'm able to get my bun so slick. It's because of the excessive amount of gel that I use. So, that's just, I don't know if that's unhealthy for my hair or anything. I don't think so, I think my hair, actually has been growing um, a lot I still have edges I feel like I lost some edges honestly but I still got some edges y'all and so yeah I don't think me using a lot of gel harms me at all I really just got a big forehead it's not a loss of edges it's just I have a humongous forehead so anyway I lather on my excessive amount of gel so after I get the gel all around, uh, y'all know I love y'all doing this tutorial because I look a mess, a hot mess. I just then take my brush and just brush the gel down so that it, the hair up. And after that, I then Put my hair in a tight ponytail by turning all the way over i'm going to stand up to do that so y'all won't be able to see it so i'm going to stand up turn upside down like completely because gravity honestly helps me get my hair into the bun so i'm going to turn all the way over get my hair in a bun and i'll be right back okay y'all so i flipped upside down and i wrapped my hair in a ponytail one time and then the second time around i created a bun and any hairs that are like kind of flying out i just took it and wrapped it around to just create you know like another layer of the messiness of the bun and it puts away all of the I don't know it makes it look like an organized messy bun instead of just like your bun's literally a mess so anyway after I got my hair on top of my head I kind of just go through and add any gel to my edges and stuff to just give it that extra sleek look like if it's looking fuzzy I just go through and I add gel not a lot like I just kind of pat you know just just enough okay and so I feel like I have a good slickness going here I feel comfortable with the amount of slicky my hair is to my head so now that I feel comfortable with that I just go in actually no I don't I looked in the big mirror and I want more slick so what I can do is add some more gel and I kind of just take my brush to help out just a light little just to get it back to the top okay just see how much more like laid down to my head that looks than this side so now I need to go back and do the other side I don't know why I like my buns so slick but I really do I like them slicked to my head. Okay. Great. Awesome. Okay, so now this is what it looks like at this stage. There's only one stage left that I like to do, and it is, of course, take my toothbrush 
in my Ego Style Gel and do my edges. A lot of people use edge control, but I don't like to use edge control because it gets like white and crusty and that's not really, I don't know. It, it Use what works for you. But I use Eco Style Gel. And I like to go on the top with my toothbrush and do that because it just, it really adds to the level of slickness, I prom. Oh, just see how flat it is? I'm obsessed with this bun routine because it looks so put together, but it doesn't take long at all. Like, at all. Take the toothbrush, swoop up again, and then the other side. And this is what my Ling slicked down or slicked up bun looks like. I know that this quick bun has saved my life many a days. Um, like I said, natural hair is not easy to manage in my opinion. So having something this simple and fast but actually looks really sleek and put together, um, it's my favorite thing to do. It's the quickest thing for me to do. So I hope that my easy bun tutorial helps you find an easy everyday hairstyle as well. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, turn that notification bell on, and follow me on Instagram at Micah Marie X. Thank you for starting your week off with me and I hope the rest of your week is fine like wine and Micah Marie. Thank y'all and I'll see you in my next video.